In this lesson, I want to talk about the purpose of the Azure Sovereign Regions. And I have already referenced this really at the start of this course when we talked about there was more than one Azure environment. It's not just a regular commercial cloud. In fact, we ran a command to actually see there were different environments. If we jump back over to that, here if I do my get az environment, we'll see once again that yes, there's not just the regular Azure cloud we think about, there's also Azure US government, Azure China cloud, and also this Azure German cloud. And a key point is each of these have their own endpoints. We can see how to actually go and interact with the cloud. And they also have their own Azure AD endpoints to integrate with Azure Active Directory. So this is really stressing the point that each of these are completely independent. They are isolated physically, they're different data centers, different networks, they're isolated logically, different authentication, completely different sets of services. Then they're all running Azure, but they are completely different instances, different sets of hardware, different communications, etc. Now the reason we have this is there are certain circumstances where there might be certain regulatory security requirements that maybe can't be met in the regular commercial cloud, or it's not logical to try and meet it. For example, I might have requirements that any personnel interacting with the service has to be US based. Well, that doesn't make sense to try and do that for every Azure region in commercial. So, hey, US Gov Cloud, for example, we can meet that. So the whole point here is, for example, Azure government. This is being used by US federal agencies, state and local government, or solution providers that work with those agencies. They can also use that Gov Cloud. Now the key point here, for example, for the Gov Cloud is it meets some additional certifications. For example, if we go and jump over for a second, Things like the Criminal Justice Information Services Security Policy, CGIS, but also ITAR, iOS 1075, DOD le Level 4, um, FedRAMP High, but regular Azure also meets FedRAMP High. But we can see here, well, there are these certain ones all about US government outlined down here. And then we can look at the detail and it will tell us all about what it is and then tell us the particular services that will meet this particular requirement. So it's saying Azure government, but not kind of regular Azure commercial. Whereas if I was to look at FedRAMP, well FedRAMP, although yes, that's definitely met by Azure government, it is also available in regular Azure. But the key point here is Azure government is a completely isolated set of physical buildings, infrastructure, instances of the services, different authentication. So it's a lot more controlled on who my neighbors might be. And they have to approve to get those service providers in there. And because it is a different set of infrastructure with their own regions, there can be other compliance offerings they can meet from that. Then we have China. So China has very strict requirements about who is allowed to operate and own the services within the country. So in this case for China, it's actually operated by 21 VNet. It's not operated by Microsoft. Microsoft are licensing the Azure technology to 21 VNet who run the, that Azure region. So it's running Azure software, but it's not actually operated by Microsoft. It's not allowed to within that country. So the point of those sovereign regions are to meet the requirements of a particular customer base, US government, have certain requirements and certifications that I need to be met by this isolated set of physical buildings and infrastructure that can be, meet additional regulatory requirements. China has policies around who can actually operate that service, so it's run by 21 VNet. There's also the German cloud, but the German actual sovereign cloud is not really being used for new customers now. Microsoft deployed new general regions to Germany that are just part of the commercial cloud that meet the sort of evolving requirements of the Germany data sovereignty. 
So now there's multiple regular regions in Germany. So yes, that German cloud exists. It's not something that's being onboarded for new customers. The commercial regions can meet those requirements. So that's the goal of those Azure sovereign clouds.